Let's talk now about international capital flows. First, quickly defining exactly what they are, and then talking about how the level of them ends up getting determined. So international capital flows are just the purchase and sale of domestic assets by foreign residents or foreign assets by domestic residents. This should sound very familiar. Essentially, it was just the main component of the capital account. Not everything in the capital account, but the biggest thing. So quite simply there, transactions involving foreign investment. We've got specific types of international capital flows. You've got international capital inflows, which involve the purchase of a domestic asset by a foreign resident. We define this as an inflow specifically because it involves money coming in, and so it increases the capital account. And then we've got international capital outflows. So these would be the purchases of foreign assets by domestic residents, called outflows because money is flowing out of the domestic economy which decreases the capital account. And then what we're very interested in is the difference between the two, which we call net capital flows. And we represent it as this KI. So that's what our international capital flows are. What determines them? In particular, what determines net capital flows? It boils down to two main factors, risk and return. When there's a